The question, is there life on Mars, may be one step closer to being answered. And with that, NASA's Perseverance rover touched down on the Red Planet to the utter joy of all the technicians working to make it happen. It's the first mission solely dedicated to searching for clues of life on the planet. And it's got a busy few months ahead as it gets to work, collecting samples and carrying out experiments. Now the Perseverance rover has landed, but it's really only the beginning of its mission. Now for more, I'm joined by Thierry Fouché, who is a researcher at the Paris Observatory. So Thierry, thank you so much for joining us here on Your News tonight. Um, the, the rover now, it'll start to look for sort of signs of life on Mars, but how will it do that? So we have several instruments on the, uh, on the rover. Uh, and the, uh, we are going to look for uh, different kind of things. We're going to look for different minerals. We are going for diff looking for um, organics, and uh, we are going to uh, take samples. And when taking samples, we'll uh, hope that in uh, 2030 we will bring back them to Earth, where the instrumentation on the ground will be much more uh, precise and uh, specific to uh, search if life was there in the samples. So what do you see as the biggest challenges coming up for the rover? Uh, several. Taking, taking samples will be, uh, will be difficult. It's uh, hard to, uh, to drill on Mars, so uh, it will be, we would like to take about 40 samples, so uh, achieving that would be quite, uh, quite a thing. Uh, it's also, we need also to get the right samples, uh, to, so we have only 40 of them, so uh, we don't want to make any error. And for that, we need to be very uh, specific in what we want to, uh, to, pre to, uh, to sample, to, uh, to, to take the right one, which would be the best to achieve our goals of seeking life on Mars. And then the, the, uh, the next step ahead was to bring back the sample, but just uh, that would be just uh, another mission in about 10 years from now. Now, you've studied Mars. I'm sure you're quite excited tonight when the rover has now actually touched down. Uh, but how likely do you think it is that NASA will actually find signs of life or will there be more things that we can learn from this mission? Uh, we are seeking for sign of life, but we are also looking for a broader picture. We will uh, learn about the uh, the age of Mars, how uh, the age of the surface, because we bring back samples of rocks dating about four million years, and we'll be able to date them when they would be on Earth. So we'll be able to understand uh, the different steps and stages of the formation of Mars, of the crust and the rocks. Uh, we will be able to learn about the story of water on Mars by looking at uh, the different um, um, uh, yes, yeah, sediments that uh, were left over by the by the water, and uh, with that we will also date these uh, sediments. And from these sediments, we will be able to uh, to understand how the water ran on Mars and then disappeared from the surface on Mars to have the dry Mars we know from uh, now on. So, just here, finally, tell us what went through your head as you saw this rover sort of making its way towards the Mars surface, and then finally it had its touchdown. Uh, it was uh, an immense immersion. Uh, it's about uh, yes, uh, six uh, six years of hard uh, hard work, and there everything was played in about seven minutes. So it was a seven extremely intense minutes and a great relief when we had the the, the signal of touchdown. It also absolutely uh, superb to have uh, all the uh, signal from live. In fact, uh, we know step by step what's going on, and uh, we know uh, up to the end whether we are uh, succeeding or not. And that's a uh, with a great happiness now.